Mm. Team Flow Riders decided to make the first future a hill because it makes the roller coaster have make potential energy. The second feature is a loop and because it makes it go faster. The third and last feature is a curve because the twist and it has potential energy and kinetic energy. We know that the visitor to Six Flags will have fun riding our roller coaster called the Flow Riders because it has loops, hills, and curves. And you will have a lot of fun. There is a contact force between the two loops and the hills. This causes the roller coaster to go faster. Gravity affects the ball, which causes it to go slower. There is friction between the top hills, the, the lower hills. This causes it to have more potential energy. The roller coaster car has the most potential energy at the beginning. Potential energy, no. Because on the top, it has a lot of potential energy. The roller coaster car has the most kinetic energy, the bottom because at the bottom is easier. As the car goes down the first hill, the potential, the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. As the car goes up the second feature, the potential energy changes to kinetic energy. During the roller coaster, some energy is lost as kinetic energy because of the friction gravity motion. An example of Newton's first law of motion on our roller coaster is when the object is at balance because the object go, has to balance before going down the hill. An example of Newton's second law of motion on our roller coaster is when the object is going down because when it goes down, it has interior. An example of Newton's third law of motion on our roller coaster is when friction, the roller coaster has friction because friction makes the object go faster down. And that's all. Any questions? Round of applause first.